Hey everyone, it's that math magician. On this video, we're gonna take this shape here made up of some algebra tiles, and we're gonna wanna find the area of that shape and then the perimeter as well. We'll start with the area because that tends to be the easier one because all we have to do is add up all the tiles that we see. Well, I see I have our big large green tile there. That is our XY tile plus these Y tiles. It looks like I have three of those Y tiles plus one X tile kind of horizontally rotated. That right there is the area for our shape made up of these algebra tiles. Again, area is just what shapes do you see? Alrighty, let's go to perimeter now. Perimeter is the one that requires a little more work because we need to label all the sides going around this shape. Remember, perimeter is adding up the exterior sides. I do not care about these interior sides that are hiding in between those tiles. So let's get going. This is our XY tile. Remember, XY tiles are made up of two sides. One is an X, one's a Y, and this actually looks just like the one we have right there, just sort of rotated that way. So if it's rotated that way, I know that the top then would have to be the X side, and I can verify that by just scooting that over real quick and noticing that yes, indeed, that is the X side. The bottom would be the X side as well. We also have a Y for the left side. This side is also a Y, but I don't care about it, right? I don't care about it because it's hidden inside perimeter, only the exterior sides. All right, we move to our Y tile now. And for our Y tile, we know that the lengths all on the outside here are the unit tiles. And we know the longer sides are the Y sides. But again, I don't care about any of these ones, but this one here I do. I do care about this weird shape here. I know that the whole length would be Y, right? This whole distance of the purple tile is Y, but I'm taking away this little part right here, this part made up by this side on my X tile. So really I want all of Y, but I wanna subtract out this side here. And what is that length right there? Well, for an X tile, that length is one. So that's why this side here is gonna be Y minus the one. All right, let's move to our X tile here. We know top and bottom is gonna be X. To the right is our unit. We have now successfully labeled all the sides for this shape. Now we just need to combine our like terms, get this expression simplified. All right, let's start off with, we'll start here on the Y side. We're gonna write out everything that we have. We have Y plus X. Plus, I'm gonna cheat here, I'm just gonna add those. One, two, three, that's gonna make three, plus a Y minus one, plus an X, plus a one, plus an X, plus a, I'm gonna cheat again, because I know one plus one plus one makes three. Finally, plus our X tile here. That is a long expression that is not simplified, but we can definitely simplify that out. Let's start with our Y tiles. How many Y tiles do we have? I see one plus two. That's all I see there. Well, that's gonna give us two Y. Let's move on to X tiles. I see one X, two X's, three X's for a total of four X tiles. Last but not least, let's do our unit tiles. I got three plus three, that makes six. Plus another one is gonna be seven, but then don't forget, I gotta subtract one for this funky side. Remember, the whole length was Y, but I had to take away that one length. So really, if you look at it, I got plus one, I got minus one. Those actually just cancel away because one minus one is zero. So I'm really just left with plus three plus three, which gives us a final answer for our perimeter as two Y plus four X plus six. It's that math magician, and I'll see you on the next video.